Goff on third down. Drops back to throw. Sets up a screen pass in the middle, and the pass is off the hands of Tyler Mundy, the intended receiver, and will bring up a fourth down. Alex Griffey will drop back deep for Ottawa. Wright will be the punter. Standing inside is 20. Good snap, but the rush is on, and the kick away. Coming up is Griffey, but the ball will hit just on the cyclone side of the 50, take bounce backwards and be down at the 47-yard line. That's where Ottawa will set up shop first and 10. Taylor Graff, the Cyclone quarterback. Running back will be Kevin Adams and Caden Shaver. Wide receivers are Cole Reed and Zach Dillard right and Andre Lewis left. On first down, delay handoff to Schaefer, who fights his way forward for a yard, and that's about it. Charger tank tackle made by Cashier. Second down, nine. Play call comes in with the tight end, Ethan Jackson. He'll line up right side. Dillard, wide receiver right, and Lewis left. Lift being shown, and there was early movement, and it looks like the Chargers might have jumped offside. No, it'll be called against the Cyclones. Now the official's conferring. Unclear as to who actually committed the foul here. Nine forty-five to play in the first period. Nothing, nothing. Ottawa with its first possession. Referee still talking about it. Linesman, pretty certain it was against Ottawa. All is going to be. Dead ball, ball start, and offsides. They're going to be the offsetting penalty. Now that's nearly impossible to do. So what basically happened there is the officials couldn't decide who had caused the infraction. The infraction, rather. So still second and nine. Graf under center. Hands it off to Schaefer, hit in the backfield. Coughs up the football, and it'll be covered up by Santa Fe Trail, I believe. Let's check and see. And Santa Fe Trail has it. Tyler Schaefer made the fumble recovery. And the Chargers have it first and 10 at their own 42. Receivers split to this side of the field. Backs are in the eye. Rolling right is lost. Looks to throw out the flat and underthrows his intended receiver. That's Schaefer. Coverage on the play by Andre Lewis. It'll be second down 10. Playoffs in classes 4A and 3A. Well, as eight man football get underway on Tuesday night. Second and 10 at the Santa Fe Trail 42. Four man front for the Cyclones. And 
off the right, off the left side. He snowed under and might have lost a half a yard. Kelvin Harrell was in on the tackle. No gain, third down 10. out now on the third down play. I was going to go with a three-man front. And we're going to have a whistle and a timeout. Timeout called for by the Chargers with 8.29 to play in the first period. The score is Ottawa nothing, Santa Fe Trail nothing. Back in 30 seconds, you're listening to Cyclone Football on KOFO. Now get the identity theft protection you need from your checking account. Arvest Bank's new ID Protect service monitors credit for eligible family members in your household, gives you quarterly access to your credit report and score, alerts you of suspicious activity, provides assistance if theft occurs, and reimburses certain costs to restore your credit. ID Protect is available with any Arvest checking account. For more information, stop by a branch or visit Arvest.com. Arvest Bank, member FDIC. Fees and restrictions may apply. Trail uses its first time out on this third down and 10 in their own 42 yard line. Defensively across the front, Ottawa has Court Ferguson, Brandon Bell, and Vicky Jim. Linebackers are Cole Reed, Kevin Adams, Hannah Wright, and Corey Deaton. Paul Graves and Andre Lewis are the corners. Taylor Kraft is the safety. Off. Inside hand off the cashier, across the 45, out to the 47-yard line. Lost the football, Graf picks it up, and Graf inside the 40-yard line. Teams trade turnovers, and Ottawa has good field position at the Santa Fe Trail 38. Cashier was trying for some extra yardage and lost the football. So Ottawa... In enemy territory, first and ten. Cyclones will again go high in the backfield. Lift coming up the middle. Graf under heavy pressure, and he'll go down back of the 46. Nobody picked up the blitzing linebacker, Chase Slogan. Actually, he's a strong safety. He came right through, and Graf had no chance. The loss on the play of eight. Cyclone lineup. He'll be in the backfield along with Graf, who will work out of the shotgun. Twin receivers each side. Graf to throw. Steps up in the pocket. Now rolls right. And he'll run it. He's to the 45 to the 40, 35, and out of bounds. Just shy of the first down and around the 32 yard line. Taylor Graf on the scramble picks up 14. It'll be third down and a short four. Auto in four down territory here. Lewis will split to the far side of the field. Ottawa pretty tight formation here. Quick hitter up the middle and nothing there for Kate Schaefer. And I'll bring up a fourth down situation. Check that with Reed with the carry. So fourth down and let's call it three. Fourth and three at about the 32. Santa Fe Trail just daring Ottawa to do something besides run up the middle. Alton Graves will bring in the play call. He'll replace Zach Dillard. Empty backfield, trip receivers right, and twins left. 
Now coming in motion is Schaefer. He'll get the handoff on the reverse. Schaefer coughs it up again, and it's going to be a scramble for the football to 25. Manfay Trail says they've got it, and they do. I can fumble the knife for the usually sure-handed Caden Schaefer. He was trying to get to that first down marker. And Santa Fe Trail has it at the 25, first and 10. Six and a half minutes to play, first period, no score. Off under center, high back, high field in the backfield, brother. Pitch goes to the deep back, and fighting forward for maybe a half a yard is Jamison Bruno. Call it no gain, second down 10 for the Chargers. Their team with a first down here in the first half of this first period. Whistle, officials timeout. And let's see, Corey Peoples, come out of the ball game. Be replaced by Tanner Wright. Kind of limping off, like maybe hip pointer or something like that. Time the backs are split. And this time the quarterback, Bob Keith, he gets it out to the 20 or to the 31, maybe the 32 yard line. Ball was picked up by the Cyclones, Kelvin Harrell, but they say the ball was down. And now they're going to throw a flag as Harrell was a little bit too animated in the end zone. He spiked the football. Really no excuse for that. Gain was out to the 31. They'll pack on 15 on top of that. I think it's a personal foul. It's really unsportsmanlike conduct. So it moves it out near the 47, where it'll be first and 10 for the Chargers. Cashier gets the carry into Cyclone territory before Schaefer gets him with the ankle tackle at the 48 of Ottawa. That'll be a gain of a five on the play, second down five. So far, the Chargers' lines have had the better of it over the Cyclone line. Game so, game so often is decided in the trenches. And off goes to right, hit the backfield, fights his way forward for a yard, maybe two. Close to the 46. That's where they'll spot it. And it'll be third down and two for Santa Fe Trail. Peoples comes back into the lineup for Ottawa. He'll replace right. He splits this side as a receiver. Off 
long signal count. Hands it off to Cashier, and he appears to have the first down at the 43. We'll wait for the spot. That's going to be at the 44, and that's actually going to be shy by about the length of the football. So fourth down and less than a yard. Have a shaper over to the sideline to get the play call. They're going to have to hurry. Up to the line. Fourth down, less than a yard. Quarterback sneak. And the first down gained by the quarterback loss. To the 42, where it'll be first and 10. Receivers each side. And off inside to Cashier. And Cashier has the first down inside the 30. will come in for the Cyclones. They're going to need to go to a four-man front, I think. They are just getting blown off the line here. First and ten at the Cyclone 29. Pitch back goes to Deep back, trying to get around the corner, and Andre Lewis horse collars him, and a penalty flag is thrown. Right was the ball carrier, and Lewis got it hold of the shoulder pad. Can't do that. Around the neck. Horse collar tackle will be a 15 yard mark off, and it will give Santa Fe Trail the ball at the 15 yard line, first and 10. Ottawa was penalized a good deal last week, very uncharacteristically. This night has not started off much better. High formation behind Gloss. Off cashier off the left side and not much there for him this time. Host of Cyclones in on the stop. Second down and 10. Clock is running. A minute 48 to play. First period. Nothing, nothing. Santa Fe Trail is threatening. Side of the field. Cyclones showing blitz. Back to throw across the middle. Has a man wide open inside the five near the end zone and stopped shy by about a yard. That was Garrett Abel, the tight end. And just where Ottawa had blitzed, there was an open seam. And it'll be first and goal at the two. Right or split behind Gloss. Cashier dives into the end zone. Touchdown, Santa Fe Trail. Sophomore 
for Derek Cashier. Scores from two yards out. goes 75 yards after the fumble recovery. Lane Clark will kick the extra point. Loss will hold. And the fake. They throw out the flat, and Schaefer has the two-point conversion. And there's timeout on the field with 50 seconds to play first quarter. Santa Fe Trail 8, Ottawa nothing. Back with a kickoff in 30 seconds. This is Cyclone Football on KOFO. Advantage Ford in Ottawa has the best selection of pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs in all makes and models in the area. And we are the only new car dealership to offer in-house dealer financing. Everyone is approved at Advantage Ford. Come visit us today at Advantage Ford, 402 North Main in Ottawa, 785-242-5100, or visit us online at AdvantageFordOttawa.com. Five-yard touchdown drive by the Chargers. They lead it eight to nothing after the two-point conversion. Alex Griffey and Andre Lewis drop back deep for the Cyclones. Lane Clark will tee it up. We get to use the blow rather strongly. Across the field, north to south. Kick is the line drive kick that Griffey will field at the 17. Alex to the 25, the 30, looks for a lane, gets it across the 35, and it'll be wrestled down there by Jamison Bruno. Ottawa 36. Ottawa's fumbled on both their previous possessions. Adams in the backfield this time. Blitz coming from the outside. Graf pitches late to Adams, who made a nice catch over his shoulder and managed to pick up about four yards near the 40 yard line. Graf. Pitched the ball late as he was hit. Adams had to reach back to bring it in. Managed to pick up three yards. It'll be second down and seven. And that may well be the last play of the quarter. Cyclones will come up with 11 seconds on the clock. High formation, three seconds, blitz, oh, San Trail jumped offside. They're pointing in Ottawa, but we'll see. Stop the clock with .1 seconds to go. It is against the Chargers, and it'll be now second down and a long one. And that'll end the first quarter of play. The score at the end of one here from Steve Grogan Stadium, Santa Fe Trail 8, Ottawa nothing. We're back after this one minute break. You're listening to Cyclone Football on KOFO. Generations of Americans have depended on the Arco Air brand for comfort combined with value. Hands-on engineering expertise with the latest advances in technology give Arco Air cooling and heating systems high ratings for both efficiency and durability. For a free home comfort consultation, call Adamson Brothers Heating and Cooling. 242-9273. Adams and Brothers, your local Arco Air dealer at First and Walnut in Ottawa. Arco Air, 100% reliable, 100% comfort. Here's another safety tip from Performance Electric. As the fall and winter temperatures arrive, you might be considering adding extra heat to your cold rooms of your home with space heaters. It's a good idea to hire a licensed electrician to inspect the branch circuit and wiring to see if it can handle the extra load. If not, you might need a dedicated circuit. Overloading the wiring is a fire hazard. Call Performance Electric in Ottawa at 785-242-5748. That's 242-5748. 8-0 Santa Fe Trail. Ottawa has its second and one. 
just out or outside of their 45 yard line. High formation in the backfield. Graf will throw. Goes deep for Andre Lewis. The jump ball and the pass will be intercepted. Not a well thrown pass and Tyler Schaefer picks it off. And that's the third Cyclone turnover of the night. Going into that win, Graf did not lead Lewis enough. And Santa Fe Trail will have it at the 25-yard line. Central Heights leads Osage City 12-0 in that big ball game down at Heights tonight. Get that game on KMXN 92.9 FM HD2 or also on the web at KOFO.com. A Viking win would pro- propel them into the playoffs and be on the road on Tuesday night against either Humboldt or Burlington. Chargers first and ten. And the inside handoff goes to Cashier, who gets one to the 26. Kevin Adams was there. He got some help from Tanner Wright. Second down and nine. Chargers lead at eight nothing. Off under center. Keeping rolling. And it's gonna be brought down in the backfield. And a late penalty flag is thrown. Reed was there first, right, wrapped him up. Check the penalty flag, though. Personal foul face mask against Ottawa. Third big penalty of the night against the Cyclone. Give Santa Fe Trail a first down at around the 38-yard line. So far, Ottawa has done very little right in this ball game. center. Ottawa packs the box. Loss will throw. Screen pass to Mundy. And Mundy will be brought down by Corey Peoples. That could have been a face mask. And there is a penalty flag thrown in the backfield by the referee. And he will say it is a roughing the passer call against Ottawa. Another 15 yards tacked on. That'll take it to the Cyclone 45. First down. Actually, it'll be a wildcat formation. Rick snap to right, following the blockers to the 40, and down to around the 38-yard line. Eight of seven, it'll be second and three. 10-25 to play first half. Santa Fe Trail leads 8-0. Right again off the right side. And he's got the first down inside the 30-yard line to the 28. Chargers move the chain.
receivers to the far side, including Gloss. And they go again from the Wildcat. Right, left side, hit the backfield, drop for a loss. It was Cord Ferguson that broke through. Came in untouched. And a loss back to the 35 will bring up a second down and 17. NFA trail scoring on a two-yard run by Derek Cashier. In Ottawa territory, second and 17 from the Ottawa 35. Now Gloss back under center. Rolls right, throws back left, has man, and Graves is going to drag him down. That was able to tie it in. A nice job by Graves to fight off the block. And it's a gain of only about a yard and a half. It'll bring up third down and 16. Eight twenty-five to go, first half. Chargers are in four-down territory here, so they don't have to get all of it right away. Flips from the wing. They'll throw deep down the field. It's well overthrown. Intended for Tyler Schaefer. Graves has the coverage. And fourth down for the Chargers. See what Jason Duncan decides he wants to do. Loss comes out, and they're going to punt. Try to pin Ottawa deep. That was bobbled. Now the kick straight up in the air. Hits at the 20 and is down at the 21. Well, that's not exactly what the Chargers wanted. Ottawa gets it after a punt of just 13 yards, but Wright had to hurry after he bobbled the snap. Well, Ottawa's 79 yards away, 7.52 to play in the half. Still without a first down in this ballgame. Ottawa has yet to try the edge, except for this scramble by Graff, who fumbled the snap, and he had to fall on it, and he didn't get there. Santa Fe Trail recovers it. Cashier got the fumble recovery, and that's four Cyclone turnovers in the first half. First and ten Chargers at the Ottawa 23. Kemple splits to the far side of the field. Schaefer to the near side. Pitch back goes to the deep man, and Schaefer for Ottawa comes up and smacks Jamison Bruno in the backfield for a loss. Loss of seven on the play. Eight Schaefer untouched from his linebacker spot. Chargers will send in right in Monday. Off under center. And we got a whistle and a delay of game call. That'll move it back to the 35. Second down at 22. 
High School football scoreboard show coming your way tonight at 10 o'clock. And off inside the cashier, and cashier will be wrestled down at the line of scrimmage, or maybe just behind it. Harold and Jensen were there with help from Ferguson. Half-yard loss brings up third down long. Third down about 22. Clock running, 6.22 to play in the half. Hand off inside to Cashier. He gets the 33. And Big Port Ferguson makes the tackle. And a fourth down situation. And once again, Santa Fe Trail will let you to punt it. Griffey will drop back deep. Wright will stand at the Ottawa 48. the way. Floater hits and around the 15 takes an Ottawa roll back to around the 18-19 yard line. And again, not very long punt by Wright. Ottawa has the long field though. 528, all three of their timeouts. The Cyclones have got to stop turning the ball over. Field is in fantastic shape. Graff will work out of the shotgun. Hands off to Schaefer. Schaefer breaks the tackle, gets it across the 20, out to about the 22 yard line. Cyclone offensive line just unable to hold blocks. There's a nice hole there for Schaefer, but Caden couldn't get through it quickly enough to make any more than about four yards, second and six. Brady Wallace comes in at a receiver. He replaces Andre Lewis. Graff onto the latest shaper, breaks the tackle, breaks another one, and fights forward for a couple of yards, or about a yard, I guess, actually, the 24. And the Cyclones electing to run by using delay. Not worked most of the year, and it's not working very well here tonight. Third and five. Lift up the middle. Graff rolling left. And now steps up and throws, and the Elwood throws his intended receiver. He was looking for Lewis at around the 32-yard line. It's incomplete, and it brings up fourth down. Graff was under pressure. Back deep for the Chargers is Tyler Mundy. Corey people standing inside his own tent. Great snap. People get the kick away. And it's going to hit and take a charger roll and be down to the 50-yard line. Kick on the play of 26 yards. Santa Fe Trail has it at the 50 with four minutes to play in the second period. They lead it 8-0. Saturday afternoon, it's Braves football. Ottawa University against Bethany. 130 kick 
1230 pregame on KOFO. Wildcat formation. Right off the right side. Breaks the tackle, gets it across the 45 to the 43, maybe the 42-yard line. Nice gain on first down by the sophomore, Chaz Wright. Chargers looking for their first victory of the season. Lead by eight here late in the first half. In Wildcat formation, right and cashier in the backfield. Delay and not much there for Wright as Caden Schaefer broke through. Check that, I'm sorry, it's Paul Reed that broke through. 32, not 22. They'll credit Wright with no gain on the play. Third down and two. 2.54 to go before half. Bay Trail has a couple of timeouts remaining. Ottawa has all three of theirs. Again, they'll run out of the Wildcat. Right, off the right side, looking for something, and they didn't get there. It'll be fourth and two. Let's see what Jason Duncan decides to do here. Lundy comes into the lineup. Lock will be under two minutes. Well, this play gets underway. Lock under center. Chargers will go for it. And off cashier. Cashier didn't make it. He stopped at the 41. The Cyclones will get the ball on down with a minute 50 and three timeouts remaining. But Ottawa's got to be able to move the football. They've got to hold on to it. up on first down. Diller goes wide to the left. Lewis wide to the right. Graff under center. Man front. Graff under pressure. And he's going to be sacked back at around the 37-38 yard line. Spot at 39. That is a very favorable spot. Officials timeout. Have an equipment problem. Looks like Ethan Jack is going to have to come out of the game. See, they're talking to the players from both sides right now, so maybe something's get a little chippy out there. Captain meeting with the officials. the officials going over to each sideline to talk about something. They'll wind the clock. Second down and 12. Off the dead eye. Here comes Lewis in motion. He gets the ball on the reverse and Andre loses a half a yard. Ottawa's had no offense here in the first half. Cashier made the stop. Clock inside a minute. Third down and 12. Jackson in for the Cyclones. He'll line up as a tight end. Clock continues to run. Graff, shotgun formation. Lift being shown straight up the middle. Graff throws it deep down the field for Dillard. 
and Dillard has the ball knocked away at the end by Mundy, who had good coverage. Stops the clock with 23 seconds to go in the half. Cyclones will punt it away. Monday back deep for the Chargers. Lazy snap. People get the kick away. It's a good one. To the bounce at the 27. And be down at about the 28-yard line. 34-yard kick, no return. Stops the clock with 15 seconds to go. And you would expect Santa Fe Trail to just go to a knee. Ottawa will get the ball to start the second half, but they're going to trail going into the locker room. the first half of play. And if a trail leads here at intermission, eight to nothing. And we'll be back after this two minute timeout. This is Ottawa High School Football on 1220 Country KOFO. It's taste over at Subway and we're celebrating with the new Tuscan chicken melt. The newest six dollar foot long special. Enjoy a harvest of flavor with tender, juicy chicken tossed in zesty herb seasoning, then fresh toasted with melty cheese on your choice of bread. It's topped with balsamic vinaigrette and served up as a $6 footlong special. Savor the season with the new Tuscan chicken melt before it's gone. Subway, eat fresh. Limited time only at participating restaurants, plus applicable tax, price and participation may vary. Prices higher in Alaska and Hawaii. Additional charge for extras. The staff at Lamb Roberts Funeral Home is there to serve you with care and professionalism. Offering traditional funeral services, cremation services, and funeral pre-planning at a time that is always difficult. Providing your family the world-class service the hometown folks like you deserve. The Lamb Roberts Funeral Home will help you personally design a meaningful celebration of remembrance. Call Greenwood Roberts Funeral Home in Overbrook or Lamb Roberts Funeral Home in Ottawa and Baldwin to assist you. In